Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to Cold Run Reviews. Today I'll be giving you my review on the Surface Go from Microsoft. But before we get started, it's important to understand why I chose the Surface Go. Most of the time, when you go to buy a product, it's for a specific reason. And a product that's useful for you might not be for someone else. So what was I looking for? I was looking for a digital notebook, something small that I could easily carry around. Something I could use for quick notes, and if possible, use it also as a familiar workplace. Here we work on Windows, so basically I was looking for a tiny, ultra-portable workstation. I chose the Surface Go, but if you found a better solution, let us know. The Surface Go has a 10-inch touchscreen display with a body size of 24 by 17 by 8 centimeters, and it weighs around 800 grams with the type cover. So it's literally ultra portable. It's like this size. It's running Windows 10 on S mode, so I can only install apps from the Microsoft Store. But it also means that it's fully compatible with my workstation, and I can use the full version of Microsoft's Office Suite. I use the basic model with Intel's Pentium Gold CPU with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of eMMC storage. It's a bit slower than an SSD, but with the work I'm doing, it doesn't matter. And you have a micro SD slot, so if you need more storage, just use a micro SD card. And Windows Hello works great on the Surface Go, I never had any problem with it. So all my work is secured and accessible at the same time. The build quality of the Surface Go is top tier. It's what you can expect from the Surface lineup. A magnesium casing with a silver finish. The Surface type cover is awesome. Great quality and great typing experience with an Alcantara finish. Little noise, great response time, just perfect for what I'm doing with it. If any of you have used the Surface type cover, you know what I'm talking about. The two Dolby stereo speakers are great, considering the size and the form factor of the Surface Go. I was quite amazed. When you get this type of quality in this type of machine, it's hard to understand how bigger laptops get it so wrong. And like the rest, the webcam on the Surface Go is well above average. Now let's talk about the accessories. When you buy the Surface Pro, you just get the tablet screen. But if you want the full experience, don't be cheap. Buy accessories. I bought the carrying bag, a mouse, a pen, a keyboard and a hub. Just perfect. Of course this is going to push the price up, but it's still a good solution if that's what you're looking for. Something that compact and this, this quality. So I went from 399 euros to 640 just with the accessories. Was it worth it? I think it was. If you're looking for an ultra portable device for light work and for traveling, this is the go-to solution. And this is exactly what I wanted. For me it's just perfect for what I do and the way I use it. If you're looking for a high performance workstation or a gaming laptop, this is not for you. So, is it still a great solution in 2020? Absolutely. And with the Surface Go 2 coming out, you'll find great deals for the Surface Go 1. I hope this review was helpful. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to support this channel. Thank you.